Alright guys, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Arrowverse Recap. Now, in this, this, these episodes were actually kind of cool. Because there was some Christian in it, there was some actual, a lot of action, there was some parts that were stupid, there was some parts that had references a lot more than others. But anyway, if you haven't seen my last three videos, those are the last, the last three videos are where I kind of explain what this type of series is. And so, without further ado, let's get right down in it. So, this week on Supergirl. It, this episode is called The Faithful. Now, the reasoning it's called The Faithful is because it's all Christian-like in where this... Okay, so let's go back two years. <laughs> let's go back two years where Supergirl, or the first time Kara even ever showed her face as Supergirl. And so where she saves a plane. So this guy named Corval, or Covil. Coville was on this plane with these with other people and Alex. And so she saved that plane and he, he saw a lot of people praying. So that's why he gave him. That's why they, that's why he's praising him. Or praising Supergirl. And... <laughs> and, uh, um... So, it was two years ago, like I said. Um, he's praising Supergirl as a god. Like, whoever saves her, I have this whole cult of people that will do whatever it takes. And so, basically, he's he's taking scriptures from her planet, which is God of Rao, or something like that. I don't know. But he's changing it all up. And he's willing to put... People are willing to almost kill themselves to just get into this cult that's weird crazy right and here's the crazier thing he found he found a pod and that pod was gonna blow up this whole ice rink of people unless but because he was so crazy that he was gonna blow up the whole damn thing and so Okay, so the way they stop it is Supergirl laser beams a hole into the ground and they push it into that hole and then it blows up and then they everyone say. But then here's the crazy thing. The origin of rain. If you don't know what rain is, then that means you guys don't know comics. But if you guys do know comics, then that means rain and Supergirl come down at basically the same time. Well, kind of, I think that's how it is. But rain comes to Supergirl and says, I, you want to destroy worlds with me? Supergirl says no. And then so she puts her Earth Destroyers on her, her and make her freaking attack. And so, yeah. if you could, And also, so when they threw that thing down there, it blew up from episode one. That it, We went to a ship that we saw in episode one and went to that ship. It, it blew up and it made it shake. And so it kind of activated it. It turned on one of the containers and so at the end of the episode one of the containers psh, rain lives but samantha is going to kind of turn into rain so i don't know how they're going to be doing that exactly but yeah and so she looks in the mirror she has all this writing and then this creepy bitch just comes out and says one day you will the rain and the quote from this episode is Covil with when you look into a god's eyes, you never forget. See, I thought that was a cool thing. I'm sorry, three, 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 three. <laughs> mm-hmm. Next episode. Our next thing is the flash. Now, and this episode is called The Elongated Journey Into Night. And so, they find out that there's this one person, which is a dirty cop, but then he moved into Discovery, and so, here's the, uh, here's why Flash and, uh, or Barry and Ralph Dibney are kind of getting in each other's faces, is because Ralph, 
uh, there was no evidence to find for this murder that the that the husband murdered his own wife, and so he so ba since Barry that was his first case, and since his mom was murdered with a knife, then he kind of went into it, and so he kind of got Ralph fired from his job basically. And so that's why he's always on him, and then that's why you, you see this whole conflict throughout the episode. But you learn that in the episode too, but hey. And then... <laughs> okay, so the, the big bad is Mayor Billows and Breacher. Now, the reason Breacher is big... I'm not kind of a bad in this episode is because he only attacks Cisco, and he only loses because Cisco. He comes out and protects his friends, and because if he says, if you're willing to die for your friends, then you will be a good boyfriend to my girl, my little girl. And this episode is black. Uh, Ralph Dibney kind of was blackmailing this Mayor Billow dude, and so he had people plant a bomb in there, and so then Iris and Barry almost die, and then so they run out. And then Iris says the quote of the week, which is, guess someone hates him more than you. And then there was some cool Quicksilver scene stuff in there. Like, if you guys haven't seen the movie, X-Men Days of Future Past, I suggest you do. Um, I just wrote down Quicksilver because, hey, uh, Quicksilver in that, in that movie makes everything go slow and he just messes around with stuff. And so that's what Barry does in this episode. Two cops come in. Cops come in and make their guns hit each other. He taps them, catches a bullet, catches a bullet. They hit each other. They fall. Mayor Billows. Yeah, those are Mayor Billows people. And so Ralph Dimney kind of hates him. And so how they get Mayor Billows? Uh, Mayor Billows takes... Joe up into a helicopter and so he's not he can't run fast enough to get up to the helicopter like run off of a building and Cisco can't vibe or make a portal and so Ralph Dibney steps back and chucks his arm grabs the helicopter flash runs up grabs his gun and says and then Joe says Cecile's pregnant like at the weirdest time ever and so, yeah, there you guys go. And then they bring up Plastic Man, but then he says that that's a stupid name. Yeah, it's just good, just likes coming up with him. All right, next episode, next thing is Legends of El Tomorrow. Sorry, I'm putting on the paper clip. Legends, Legends, Legends of Tomorrow. The episode is called Phone Home, and there's reasons why it's called Phone Home. The threat, or the anachronism is a, there are, it's a dominator, mom and baby. Actually, no, it's just the baby part. And, <laughs> and so, the, it's, okay. So, let me just describe E.T. for you, and that's everything that happens in this, too. So, this kid finds an alien, he brings it home. And he kind of just has fun with it. He does everything wrong, like he steals candy for the baby, um, like stealing candy from the baby, which is a reference or is a line in that movie, kind of. And then, and then he skips school. And then, at closer to the end, he says, "Get on these bikes. We can't. Those aren't ours." And then Ray says, "Yes, I knew Roy wasn't. Or I knew you you were a good guy. Get out of here." Okay. And and so, a cool thing in that episode was their sinkness, like how they were nodding their head, how Ray was nodding his head, and then young Ray was nodding his head, and then, so yeah, okay, basically, okay, so, how they find out about this anachronism is that they were going to do some trust exercises, and then Ray, um, vanishes, and then they find out that Ray dies in 19-something or other. Probably should have written that down too. Yeah, probably should have. <clears throat> and so then they run away, of course, and then the alien and them get stolen, and then they have to get the alien back to their m the mom or the ship 
Which is basically in this episode. There's okay, so there's two halves of the story. Um, Jackson trying to figure out what um, um, Gray is doing, and then them getting the baby. And so, and this, and the weird thing is, is that Gray. It, uh, is his daughter is having a baby, and in, then the Dominator is coming for her baby, <laughs> and that's cool. I like how the th how things go in there, and so, and then uh, he makes a reference in there like, ha, huh, just like ET, and then she says, what's ET? Because Zari's from the future, she doesn't know anything, and since, <clears throat> yeah. Since she's from the future, she has no idea what it is, and so he he also gets a gaming console and he says, "My brother, my brother and I used to fight over this. He usually like to play this one game, and I would like to play Legends of Zelda." And then she says, "Well, in the future, we only have battle training simulators. The future sucks, man." And um, bullies. So. Young Ray thinks that they're friends, but they're actually bullies. And so, if you've seen E.T., then this is basically E.T. Because then, because Zari has air powers, they make them fly you know, on when they have the freaking bikes. And then, uh, so since they can't leave yet, because the boys, Roy, Jackson, and... Gray, don't know his name for some reason, Stein, since Stein are back in the past, or back in 2017, they're still there, so they are going to go trick-or-treating. And so they step up to the bullies and say, I'm the Adam, the coolest superhero. <laughs> the Adam, what a stupid name. I think it's rather cool. And then the quote of the week is Jax saying, or, or, okay, so he's talking to uh, Sarah, and so um, Ray is like, Dude, I can't wait for you guys to see this time. I would like, I really like this place. I really like that place. And then Jackson says, Trust Ray to find the bright side of dying. And then that was just funny. And so the reason I like this show is because it's always funny. It's not oh, as serious as Supergirl. Or Arrow. Alright, next we have Reversal. We have Arrow, which is called Reversal. This episode is called Reversal. And so Black Canary is going after these people. They're, they're getting their fingerprints and stuff for this one guy called Caden. Caden James. And so also Felicity has to help Helix from the past season, which I really didn't watch. But she has to help him out. So they can find Caden and take him down. But so Caden's idea based and so Black Siren Black Siren and Caden and they have that one other random guy. Because Black Siren is taking out all these people. And so she says Diana, which I kinda thought that she was trying to frame Diana so she could kill people. And then that we that means they would have gotten in jail. And so here's the cool thing. So Caden James or Caden wanted to take down the internet. But so he opened up the firewall or whatever or opened up the safe. But then they had to shut it down. So Felicity was getting in there and then doing all of her hacking stuff. And then later in the episode, you find out that Caden James wanted that to happen because now her fingerprints are on it. And now I don't have to be captured. That is so cool. How do people think of this? Literally. Um, yeah, so Black Siren's hunting people. Um, so, Oliver is still not the Green Arrow in this episode. So, Oliver is kind of protective of Felicity. So, this is basically a Felicity episode. So, and then he takes him down and she says, I don't need your help right now. And fingerprints, yeah. Swap places. That this this episode this the, the the reason this episode is called reversal is because while Felicity's out there doing all the hacky doo stuff and moving around, Oliver is back at the base talking to the team. And so yeah. 
And then that's where I bring up the quote. I want to be there like you were there for me. Um, okay. And then in the next episode, he's going to go help out this shark, and he's probably going to want to be the Green Arrow again. And then we're probably going to get him for the crossover, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I really hope so. I, I just don't know what's going to happen in this season. They take down... Okay, so the reason they need those fingerprints is because they need f three different fingerprints that would not be bad so they wouldn't get their fingerprints onto them. And so they took nobodies and made them into somebodies so they so they could use their fingerprints so they could go catch the bad guys and Felicity. But they, since they're already dead, Felicity is the one alive. So they're probably going to target Felicity next. And that's what they want. The cops go get Felicity so they can complete their master plan. And so Caden is possibly the big bad for this season, but hopefully Green Oliver comes back and stuff. So, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you guys like. Oh wait, the quote. Oh my gosh, I almost. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I didn't forget the quote this time, which is Oliver. I'm gonna be there like you were there for me. I didn't forget the quote this time. Y yay me. Oh, okay, every, ever okay, so yeah, so, um, let me go back to Supergirl. Every person that she saved was part of that cult in Supergirl. I don't know if I said that. And then people were willing to kill themselves to join the cult, origin of the brain, yep, did all that. So yeah, alright guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please leave a big like down below. And if you guys haven't already, please, please subscribe. I found out today that a person desubscribed for me. I don't know why. But fuck you. I mean, and everyone else. Oh, I love you that should still subscribe to me. That was weird. Peace.